not too bad. And Colleen, not too bad. The chocolate candy. I oh, know. It's already gone. Love it. I, I can't. If I have chocolate before 8.30, Tara, it's going to be a bad day. But I'll Why? tell you what. We're talking not only oh. about candy making here. We're really talking about art. Of course, chocolate and the holidays really go hand in hand. So what better way to give a personal handmade gift while the budget may be a little bit tight this holiday season by making your own. We're joined by chocolatier Nancy Bontrager from Stella Leona in Pettisville. Thank you so much for being with us today. What a great idea to give folks as a Christmas gift or, you know, a gift for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Make your own. You're going to kind of show us maybe um, a more upscale type of yeah, candy, right? Yeah, a little process, but um, when I started, it was just the same thing. Gifts at Christmas time, that experimenting at home. So everybody can experiment at home and it grows with time. So, okay. Yeah. Um, I'd like to show you a hand painting um, technique that we use a lot at the shop. Um, this is a, a mold that we use, and we swipe in a little bit of dark chocolate for first. accent. So first. this is the first step. Just this a is the first swipe. step. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we paint in with some colored cocoa butter. We paint a little color in the mold. And each cavity gets hand painted, just like this. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try? Sure, of course. <laughs> there you go. And then... Um, now, can, can you buy these molds at at different kind of craft stores? Um, you or? can buy a, a hobby-grade mold that uh, at a lot of candy making stores or um, some craft stores carry them mm -hmm. that you can use. This is a little, a professional grade mold, but okay. but the other molds work well also. Okay. And then we, after the color goes in, we paint in with a brush white chocolate, a layer okay. of white chocolate. Which you see right which here. Which is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is kind of like step three almost, correct? Right? The first a little chocolate, then the red, and then some mm -hmm. white chocolate. That's okay. correct. You have to let this sit for a little while? Yes. We have to let it sit until it hardens. Okay. And then we go to the next step, which is um, filling the cavity with dark chocolate. Okay. And then the next step would be to add the raspberry preserve layer in each mold cavity. Just like that. And could you put whatever kind of filling you want? You could want? put any kind of filling you want. You okay. can vary the flavor. And then we have raspberry dark chocolate ganache. Ganache is a wonderful, delicious, creamy, smooth product that you just make with cream and chocolate, melt it together, and fill the mold. Okay. And then we bottom it off with dark chocolate, and it comes out just like this. And this, and gets, this is pretty heavy by the time it's yeah, all done. Yeah, it's this full is... and pretty dense. And okay. if you would like to, you can just carefully flip it over, and they'll pop right out okay. onto the... Are you sure I can yep. do this here? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, those and are... Then kind of a little bit, and there are some of the oh, so this finished is what it pieces. Looks like the finished mm -hmm. product. They're very glossy and oh my gosh, showy looking. It makes a great gift. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how long start to finish? I know we did it TV way here, but start to finish. How long would this right? Process? Normally, this process would take um, at least a day. I mean, oh. sometimes it's a lot of our products are a two to three day process, depending on what all we're processing at the same okay. time. So it's pretty labor intensive. If somebody at home could, they maybe do a couple molds mm -hmm. at one time, and they could sure. have a, quite a nice gift mm -hmm. to give somebody mm -hmm. at the end of the day. These are beautiful. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, another idea that you can do with chocolate um, is to make a dessert with chocolate as a base. So this is the, a hand-painted um, pumpkin base. Can you show that one more time? Yeah, this sure. Is, this is chocolate. This is a pumpkin base chocolate. It's chocolate. The box is chocolate. And then um, we just made a, a pumpkin. This is a maple pumpkin cheesecake. Okay. That, um, we, a cheesecake filling. It is an actual cheesecake. Really? That we bake in the oven okay. and then prepare to, to put in here. Um, so we add that in there. And then because I love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Add a little dark chocolate ganache on there and a dollop of maple mascarpone cheese to go along with the maple and the cheesecake. This would be stunning at a holiday party. Is this an, in I mean, would this be an individual This dessert? could be an individual dessert or you could share and a few orange glazed pecans and then we can top it off with oh my gosh. the lid. And it's a beautiful little presentation dessert for that you. is gorgeous oh, thank you that's I said I could never eat any of this because it's just too beautiful and I have to you know I thought that this was ceramic here but this is such a great idea tell us a little bit about this here this is our snow mama uh, she's made with the same a similar technique she's hollow milk chocolate and inside are two of the snow babies that's why we call her a snow mama because she has twins okay great so some really easy ways folks can do this at home uh, maybe if there's one tip somebody who's doing chocolate or, or candies or something mm -hmm. they need mm -hmm. to be careful something they need to watch out sure. for. sure look for a good quality chocolate but if you don't want to temper it at home which is a difficult process um, you want to look for the best quality chocolate you can buy um, but it won't have cocoa butter in it that's what gives chocolate the best chocolate the really smooth creamy feel but if you get chocolate with cocoa butter probably not home isn't the best place for that because you have to temper it and okay. if you don't do it carefully it doesn't come out looking very nice so just get the best quality chocolate you can buy okay what a great idea thank you so thank much you. for being here with us this morning for some more information on how you can make your own chocolates and a link to the Stella Leona website you can go to our website it's WTOL.com